What's up guys, Jacob from Fitness Culture. Today we're gonna to be filming a chest and back and a little bit of arms trainer. But to start the day, I'm trying to set the tone with another feat of strength challenge. Me, Chris Brennan. All right, so we got this 300 pound sandbag. We don't know what we're gonna do with it yet. First, we're gonna start by seeing who can pick it up and put it on their shoulder. If we can both do it easily, then we're gonna see well, how many, who can do the most in a minute. I mean, it's a long time, but let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One. Two. Fly now, boys. There you go. Boy, I lost it. 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll count on. Count on. Count on. Sure. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Three, 20 seconds. <laughs> Three. Hey, <Okay>, right. <laughs> so I was victorious in today's feat of strength. Set the tone. Competition. All right. So what we got today for the punishment. This is an old football punishment. Mostly, did you ever do it in high school? Well, at least I didn't call it. Well, I never college. actually, I never, never, I've never done it. <laughs> <laughs> Only college. Did you get in trouble ever? No, I didn't get in trouble. Yeah. I was injured once. I pulled my groin and they made all the injured people go over to the punishment quarter. Yeah, so anyway, so what we got, we're gonna be rolling today. You literally just yeah. on your side and you just roll. I mean, I've seen guys roll 500 yards before in pads, which is a lot harder than without pads. And you'll see why. But Brennan's just got a 50 yard roll. So let's clap him up. Yeah. So dizzy already. Why do you get so much dizzy when you roll when you're older? <laughs> so we actually just did, went through a warm up with the sled and we're making a separate video for that. So it's kind of an active recovery thing, but it's great just to warm up your upper body too for the day. So we'll, we'll uh, link that video at the end of the, end of the trainer. But we're gonna to start today with just a kettlebell single arm split jerk. So the way that's gonna look, you're gonna take the kettlebell on your shoulder here, you're gonna dip and then split and then recover just like that. So we're just gonna go three each arm, we're just gonna do three sets. Alright guys, we're gonna be starting off on the bench today. So the way we're gonna work today, we're gonna start off with some speed stuff. And as we increase in weight and start slowing down a little bit, we'll keep adding the weight on and then move into some strength stuff, right? So we'll start off hopefully around five sets actually of speed work. Once we start slowing down a little bit because we're adding weight, then we're gonna add even more weight and start doing some grinding reps where we have to use the band to force us to drive all the way through the rep and lock it out, right? So we're gonna be supersetting the first part, the banded speed bench with some pin lay rows and then the second part, we're gonna be doing another five sets of three around there, somewhere around there, with some heavy banded bench press, and we're just gonna be doing heavy sets of three on the chin-up today. Alright guys, we uh, just finished up the speed bench and pin lay rows. Next thing we're going to try to do around five sets of just heavy banded bench press. Just work up to a heavy set of three. And then same thing with chin ups. We're going to do a neutral grip chin ups today. And then we're just going to keep adding weight, try to go as heavy as we can for three today.
All right, guys, we just finished up on the bench. So now we're gonna just blow it up right now. So we're gonna go basically super high volume stuff, 15 to 20 reps on everything right now. We're gonna start with incline bench, superset that with a wide neutral grip lap pull down. Rest for 60 to 90 seconds, so it's a shorter rest period, and we're just gonna roll through it. So we're not gonna be going super heavy, um, and we're trying to fail basically right in that 15 to 20 rep range. Thing we got today to finish off our chest and back. We're gonna be doing just a decline press for again 15 to 20 reps, and then we're gonna move on to a hammer strength, just seated row for 15 to 20 reps as well. So super set it with about 60 to 90 seconds in between sets. gonna do two movements to finish off with our arms today. So the way we're gonna do it, we're just gonna go 10 reps, rest 30 seconds, 10 reps. We're gonna go back and forth 10 times. So we're gonna be doing a neutral grip, just seated concentration curl, like this, this attachment here. If you don't have this attachment, you can just use an easy bar attachment or just a regular straight bar attachment. Um, and then we're gonna rest 30, get up, and just do some rope push downs for our triceps. So we'll go back and forth 10 total sets. Uh, of 10 reps each. So the goal here is to basically, you're gonna wanna pick a weight that you can probably do for anywhere from 12 to 18 reps probably, and then try to get 10 every time. Guys, hope you enjoyed that workout. If you like these style of workouts, um, this is kind of similar to what we would do in the power program in the fitness culture app. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment on what kind of trainer you, you want us to cover next. Um, also, that warm-up that I was talking about that we did today, warm-up slash active recovery, actually, that you can do this. Usually what I how I normally do it um, is before leg day, I'll just get in and do that. Gets the blood flow going, then I'll warm up my lower body and then get going. Anyway, if you wanna check out that video, you can click right up here. Thanks for tuning in.